Ayman Kumar Shatuji, es investigador de Kuruku Kangri en la India. Sus intereses de investigación son gravitación y cosmología. Y al día de hoy va a presentar el tema titulado Agujero Negro Giratorio en Supergravedad Calibrada de N igual 2 como un laboratorio natural para colisiones de partículas de altas energías. Eh, ok, eh, the Dr. Ariman Kumar Chaturji is researcher of Guru, Guru Kuhu Kangri in India. His research interests are gravitation and cosmology, and today he presents the topic entitled Rotating Black Holes in, in, in N equal to Gilchit Gravity as a Natural Laboratory for High Energy Particle Collision. Thank you so much, eh, Ariman, and this, this place is yours. So, am I audible, everyone? Yes, we can. We can see the, uh, the presentation. Hello, am I audible? Yes. Okay. So today uh, I'm going to uh, present my work, which is called the rotating dynamic black hole is n is equals to two e one square gauge supergravity as a natural laboratory for the high energy particle collision. So this work is already being published in uh, classical and quantum gravity in 2020-20. So, so outline of my talk is some fundamental questions of this uh, black hole, then followed by the space-time model, then uh, comes the energy extraction process or uh, known as the Penrose process, followed by the extraction of the initial mass energy, and then it will come uh, the world inequality, and uh, then after uh, super radiance, and after that uh, the BSW, the Bernardo silk waste effect, and I will uh, later conclude my work. So, Moving on, there are some fundamental questions, which is called uh, the Large Hadron Collider probably won't settle the problem on the physics beyond the standard model. Is there is a very, very large energy gap between the Planck scale and our current experimental technique. So what we need is more, more, much more powerful particle accelerator. What if we could use a particle accelerator that already exists in nature? What if we could use a black hole instead as a visible probe of the Planck scale physics? So one of the most elegant and experimental search theories beyond the super, super symmetric model uh, and the supergravity theory based on the passive particle symmetry includes a collection of fields and together have a long range gravity force with the super partner. Why not considering the supergravity black holes as a particle accelerator? So that comes the space time model. Fortunately, uh, Compre and Chao in 2014, they are able to deduct this uh, wonderful black hole which consists of several hairs. I mean uh, the black uh, the black hole mass with the rotating parameter, uh, the electrical charge, the magnetic charge, the gauge coupling constant, and the NARD charge. The uniqueness of this uh, black hole spacetime is one, one can uh, landing upon to any Kerr family black hole from this uh, existing uh, black hole spacetime by taking the suitable uh, approximations of these six parameters. Now, there are some important questions that motivate our analysis. So how much insight this solution one can give us in case of an astrophysical point of view? At what direction can a proliferation of this theoretical model can be tested in the future? Then what are the functions of the gauge coupling constant with the other parameters in generating new physical observation around the space time in supergravity? Can we achieve an infinite acceleration for the relatively less spinning black hole simply due to the presence of another interesting parameter? So let's see now. So, we know that uh, in 1967, uh, Sir Roger Penrose came with an, a wonderful idea. It was uh, basically his wonderful thought experiment where he had deducted that if a particle entered into the urban region of the black hole, if it uh, gets disintegrated with two particles, then the particle with the negative energy will be absorbed inside the black hole and the particle with the positive energy will escape out of the black hole. So now from this schematic diagram, we can see that the particle with E0 greater than zero can enter into the Argo region. And after that, it uh, disintegrates into two particles and E2 being the negative power, uh, energy particles absorbed inside the black hole and the uh, uh, particle one, E1 is the uh, positive energy particle is escaping out of the black hole. Now we have used the same method to, to calculate the Penrose process for our black hole and we can find the exact uh, uh, terms of the um, uh, energy efficiency in case of our black hole. The, 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 this is the expression for our black hole. Now uh, uh, forwarding this, we, we find the interesting results where we find that the, the strong coupling constant uh, produces a much uh, effect 
in extracting the energy where we can find uh, uh, the energy efficiency to be 39% for a strong coupling constant and in, in, in the figure B we find that the, the efficiency of the Penrose process as a function of the NAT charge for different gauge coupling constant where we have considered the uh, V to be zero which is called the uh, other charges and we have fixed the mass to such that uh, it, it will co coincide with the critical mass of the black hole and we find that uh, our black hole exactly matches with the curved black hole results and one of the more interesting thing is this this our black hole uh, possesses a um, feature which uh, makes it more resemble like a car not up space time so moving forward we find that our result doesn't explicitly uh, depends on the uh, the gauge parameter g e and m but however we can easily recover the results of curved black hole by choosing the suitable constant to be zero and uh, out of which we find that the efficiency to be 0.27 percent now from the figure four previously we find that that the, the similar uh, c, 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 things could be seen in case of curved black hole where the gauge coupling constant to be zero and for the not parameter to be less than 0.65 and it, it is greater than 0.65 now um, we, we find that, that the car penrose not space time is less efficient than its uh, car counterpart the penrose process can be enhanced as the parameter g increase and decrease with the uh, a, a not parameter charge and it can be seen directly from this uh, graph itself now the question lies the how much energy that could be uh, maximally be extracted not from the black hole orbiting towards the rotating black hole but from the black hole itself the answer lies in the next section so in the next section we find uh, the extraction of the initial mass energy as we know that uh, when, when uh, there will be several penrose mechanism followed by the another then all all the uh, angular moment of the curved black hole leaving an ordinary Schwarzschild black hole so no further energy can be extracted from the resultant black hole as the horizon gets closer the black hole mass increases and the mass of the black hole of its final fate is termed as the irreducible mass and uh, in, one of the interesting thing is that this mass cannot be decreased by any cl classical process unless there is a quantum um, tunneling method according to the new horizon mass theorem the horizon mass is always the twice of the irre irreducible mass observed in the infinity the irreducible mass can be related to the horizon mass in a, in a such case the irreducible mass can be written as the square root of half of the actual mass times the uh, horizon itself the maximum amount of the energy that can be therefore be extracted from the e1 square uh, space uh, dynamic black hole can be uh, written as this so by, by from the table we can able to see that the irreducible, the irreducible mass can be of 60 percent in in a case of a strong couple constant we, which in the earlier case for in a curved black hole we find to be uh, 0.29 percent now moving forward the work in inequality comes where uh, it ensures us the lower bound of the local speed of the fragment in order for the penrose process to take place it explains the origin and the limitations of the penrose process depending on the geometry of the space time and the velocity components of the fragments as well now we have uh, speculated this inequality and we find out what will be the lowest bound velocity of the particle that will be encircling the black hole and with which the minimum value will take to uh, the, for the process to, to enhance. Now from the table, it is evident that for the more, much more a strong coupling constant, the value is to be taken as very less. So for a strong coupling constant, it is to be find out that these kinds of black hole will give uh, more possibility of such collisions. Now moving forward, we'll come to the super radiance process. As we have already studied or discussed that the Penrose process in which the two particles break down inside, uh, one particle is break down inside the Argo region, one is uh, absorbed and another one is thrown out of the black hole with the enormous energy. Now in, in a super radiance case, what's happened, it is the uh, wave analog of the uh, Penrose process in which the, 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 the wave uh, which will be uh, carrying the negative energy will be reflected and uh, the, the wave which, which will be the, in the positive case will be uh, amplified and came out of the system. 
Now, by sol solving the continuity equation, where the phi being the te test field around uh, the black hole, uh, so uh, here I must uh, mention that one thing: that the superradiance process to occur. We all uh, already mentioned that uh, uh, um, a dissipative field should exist around the black hole. So, so in that case, we need to study around some uh, test field. So we begin by considering a simple wave model where the frequency omega is just an answer. And by solving it, just like a hydrogen problem in quantum mechanics, by taking the uh, radial part, we, we can e easily calculate the energy flux loss per unit in a form that takes in this equation. Now, from this uh, to figure, we, we can find that the, <clears throat> the omega h will directly show us that for, for a gauge coupling constant to be very strong, there will be no super radiance. But whenever the gauge coupling constant will be less and less, we will find a much more and more positive super radiance to occur. And for, for the flux, we find that the, the, the omega will be much more higher value and it's asymptotically increasing in a case where the, the flux is more and more uh, towards the positive side. Now, moving forward, the super radiance occur when the omega the frequency lies within this range. I, I mean, uh, if we go back to, to this equation, to this uh, energy equation, we find the, 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 the bracketed term where the omega is to be less for, for ensuring that the super radiance to occur in, for, in such black hole cases. Now, if the omega is greater than the, the, um, the mass times, uh, actually this is not the mass, this, this is the, the, the quantum number for, for the uh, field, uh, time is the, the capital omega H and P being the positive, the super radiance will not possible. The value of the omega H with the constraint that a, a, the nut parameter and the other charge essentially change sign as G become larger. And one, 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 one can find from this, uh, the, the, the right, one, right figure, it is be established. The pre factor that related to uh, modify the magnitude of the application can, can be found uh, from this equation. The, the third bracketed term here is, is responsible for the magnitude of the super radiance that will be occur in, in such black holes. Now moving forward, we came up uh, with, with a simple uh, solution. Now in uh, 2009, Banado Silk and Waste, they came up with an idea that uh, why not consider black hole to be a past particle accelerator. They showed in, in their famous paper that uh, the, the, these things could be happened and they measured the, uh, the center of mass energy uh, of, of, of the uh, colliding particles and they gave up a universal formula for that. Now we calculate uh, this formula in case of our black hole and we find the exact uh, uh, expression for our black hole. Now uh, from this figure it is evident that uh, for all large uh, number quantity of uh, angular momentum uh, the, the, the collision would be not been uh, uh, I mean that the collision will not, not 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 be so much happening, but there would be some value for which this collision will be ensured. So there must exist uh, a limiting uh, condition for the angular momentum. So the angle, the limiting condition for the angular momentum can be considered uh, by by assuming the the effective potential uh, for the particles or the time like particles that will be traveling the geodesics. Now, the solving that equation, one can uh, deduce the, the range for which the angular momentum to be exist and ensuring the collision to be happen. And th this figure is, is the direct uh, representation where we find that the blue figure, uh, the, 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 the collisional uh, angular momentum will be greater than the, the limiting angular momentum and that's ensuring that the, the collision to be happen. But for the other two uh, uh, curves, I mean uh, the yellow one and the black one, that the particle will fall inside the uh, event horizon. Now we moving forward, we, we calculated the near horizon collision in extremal space time and we find uh, explicit results. We find that uh, for a particular uh, critical angular momentum, the, in, uh, the energy of the center of mass of the colliding particles will be enormous for, for uh, the particular value of the strong coupling constant. I mean, there are a uh, few values uh, that, that one could find, um, but we are interested in finding those particular, uh, the, 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 the particular range of um, coupling constant where the energy has to be enormously high so that we can call this black hole a natural particle accelerator. Now, moving forward, 
the next one comes the near horizon collision of the non extremal space time in this case we, we have explicitly find, found the uh, the angular momentum range and we have shown here that for the two two angular sets of angular momentum the energy to be uh, some bit constant and then afterwards it enormously gaining its uh, higher now moving forward what we find that the most interesting results that are observed that uh, when the g becomes stronger in the extremal black hole with the with the constraint that the nut charge and the other charge would be equal the penrose process is found to be most efficient 39% than that of the curved black hole in this scenario moreover by the penrose process we can extract about 60% of its initial mass from an external black hole actually this black hole is is a unique in a sense that uh, no other black hole exists which can give 60% of its initial mass from a, a extremal condition now in case of the super radiant scattering where we have discussed the omega m uh, times the cap capital omega h less than zero the flux of the energy momentum on going through the uh, outer horizon turn out to be the negative but the flux are positive in infinity it, it, it therefore indeed extracts energy from the black hole next the influence of the gauge coupling constant present on the omega h the angular velocity of the black hole at the outer horizon have been uh, unique throughout it is strikingly noticed that no super radiance occur for strong or enough coupling now we estimate the center of mass energy for a pair of colliding particles moving near the horizon for both extremal and not extremal black hole in this case uh, extreme black hole the uh, the center of mass energy blows up in some restriction on the angular momentum limit uh, this unleashes the nature of the uh, uh, center of mass energy can be in, uh, invited to open up a new window to explain uh, physics at the planck scale now on the other hand the non extremal black hole the the center of mass energy remains finite with a finite upper bound the, the role of uh, the gauge coupling constant can be summarized in such a way that it provides a reasonably upper bound of the energy limit of the extraction process the possibility of the super radiance and how much collision of particles around the supergravity black hole may provide a possible direction now these are the references that i that i that, that we took uh, for completing uh, our paper uh, so i am con concluding my work thank you so much okay thank you so much uh, anyone anyone to have a question you can raise the hand or on the on the phone on the microphone Si en caso alguien tiene alguna pregunta, puede levantar la mano o directamente puede prender el, el micrófono para poder realizarlo. So, any question, everyone? We have a question in the, in the chat. Uh, okay, in this work, in the supergravity in n equal to, uh, we can use the geometry of Kähler or use other. So, so actually, we have considered n is equal to two black hole because uh, we find that n is equal to one and n is equal to two uh, supergravity theories are, pro, are, pro, are are more efficient in explaining the, the standard model. So, so, so in in that context, we 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 keep n is equal to two uh, black black hole so much emphasize. Okay, okay thank you so much. Uh, anyone to have other question? Anyone? Okay, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Arvin Kumar. Uh, is that the good, the nice presentation? Um, we. We hope we hope you you continue in the on the other presentation at the at the 2 p.m. in the and recover tools so and Antonio Pereira. Thank you so okay, much you. for everyone. Okay, thank you so much for everyone. And now now we we have a a time of the of the uh, present and to lunch or sometimes. Eh, muchas gracias a todos por...
gracias a todos por, este, por estar presentes aquí. Ahora comenzamos un pequeño espacio de receso. Nos volvemos a ver a las 2 de la tarde en el enlace generado, que es el, el único de las presentaciones este, principales, con la presentación del doctor Antonio Pereira y el doctor Enrico Bertuzzo. Muchísimas gracias por todo y esto sería por el momento hasta, hasta, hasta acá, la sala 1. Thank you.